It's 7 p.m. It is Tuesday. Sophie Alice Bexter on the way, as well as Teddy Swims. But right now, let's get you later. Your local hits radio station across Lincolnshire and Newark. This is Links FM. The top stories this hour. An environment agency report says flooding in Horncastle was caused by heavy rainfall and not the delayed closure of the reservoir Sluice Gate. It happened when Storm Babette swept across the area in October. Our reporter Lawrence Griffin has more. Almost 200 properties in the Horncastle area are known to have been affected following the storm. The report aimed to find out what happened following the delayed closure of the flood defence as well as making recommendations for the future. Modelling to show the impact of this delay concluded properties would still have flooded flooded due to the heaviest rain falling downstream of the reservoir and this event being classified as an extreme flood. But the investigation did identify improvements that could be made to the sluice gate system to improve its reliability. A pre-inquest hearing has heard how a boy from Grimsby who was on holiday with his family was electrocuted at his Blackpool hotel. Ten-year-old Jack Piper Sheech was staying at Tiffany's hotel when he suffered a brain injury due to a prolonged cardiac arrest last September. The full inquest, which will be held in the summer, will hear from paramedics and medical experts. The leading campaigner for victims of the Horizon IT scandal, Alan Bates, has told MPs the post office should get on and pay people. Former chairman Henry Staunton also gave evidence to a committee earlier and stood by claims he was told to delay paying compensation to those wrongly convicted. Current boss Nick Reed says that's not correct. Thomas Kingston, the son-in-law of the Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, has died. The 45-year-old who married Lady Gabriella in 2019 was found at an address in Gloucestershire on Sunday evening. The King and Queen have sent their most heartfelt thoughts and prayers to the family. And in sport, Lincoln City will be hoping to extend their unbeaten run to nine matches as they host struggling Shrewsbury tonight. The Imps will also make it three wins in a row if they can secure victory over the team who recently appointed ex-Grimsby town manager Paul Hurst as head coach. In the National League North, Boston United welcome Buxton. Weather with the Mirage Maplethorpe. Rain or shine, visit the arcade. Licensed cafe and bar, open every day. Cloud and rain will clear this evening across Lincolnshire and Newark. Frost likely overnight, lows of three. That's the latest. I'm Julie Caston. Oh, Sam Thompson. Acceptable, unacceptable tonight for you. And it's a good one. But right now, Teddy swims. With Sam Thompson. This is Links FM.